So we put up a recipe the other day for a uh, slow cooker taco meatloaf. Had a bunch of people asking for the recipe. So what we're actually gonna do is, we have the recipe up on the blog, but we're actually gonna make a video to go along with it. It's really easy to make. You uh, go ahead and you mix the ingredients and then you just put it on the slow cooker for three to four hours, three hours on uh, low, and then you open it up, put a layer of the ketchup, hot sauce, and brown sugar on top, spread it over evenly then let it cook for another hour. So four hours total, but it's a really flavorful dish. The salsa, the uh, taco seasoning all come together. Basically tastes like a big taco, but it's a nice meatloaf, it's flavorful. We're actually gonna show you how to make it a little bit less on the calories and the fats, because what we're gonna do is instead of the two uh, pounds of lean ground beef, we're only gonna use a pound of it, and we're gonna use a pound of a lean turkey breast. Kind of cuts down the calories, the fats, cuts down on a little bit of everything to just make it a little bit healthier than the regular recipe, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the lean ground beef, 93.7, and then we're gonna go ahead and add in the one pound of lean ground turkey breast. Next, we're gonna add in the salsa, either picante or chunky, um, either way you want to go, it adds a nice flavor to it. Um, just pick a salsa that you think has good flavor that you'll enjoy inside uh, the meatloaf. Next we're going to go ahead and add on in the mild cheddar cheese. Uh, finely shredded is all you really need. About a cup of it and that will you know, give that nice cheesy flavor. We're going to add in the taco seasoning. Um, any kind you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, store bought brand or you know designer like Taco Bell. Then we're gonna mix in two eggs into the mixture to kind of make it moist and bind it all together. There is a cup of crushed Tostitos um, chip, and they're gonna mix it all together. What we went ahead and we did is we lined the inside of the crock pot with aluminum foil. And then we put the mixture in a loaf type form inside of the liner. So you're gonna go ahead and cover that mixture in the crock pot let it cook on high for three hours and while it's cooking you can go ahead and prep the ketchup make sure it's going to go on top after the three hours is done so what we have here is we have a cup of the ketchup we have three tablespoons of the hot sauce and then we have four tablespoons of brown sugar you're just going to mix that evenly together make it smooth and uh, just go ahead and put it in the refrigerator until it's ready So when the three hours is up, you can go ahead and take the lid off. You're going to pour on top of the ketchup mixture, cover the whole um, top of the meatloaf, and then you're going to go ahead and cover it back up with the aluminum foil. Put the lid on it, let it cook for another hour, and then uh, it's almost ready to be served. What we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to take it out of the crock pot. We're going to put it on a pan, unravel the foil a little bit, and then we're going to slice it up, ready to be served. First thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of size it up. We're going to do halfway in the middle, and then we're going to do half center to the outside, and then we're going to center in between the two, and then we're going to center on the outside. That's how you get your four portions, then we're actually going to make it into eight, so that way it's even serving for everybody to enjoy. And we served it with the mashed potatoes from the night before, and our finished product.